Hello, this is a tutorial on exporting and importing an exam, a quiz, or a test from the Test Manager tool built into Blackboard. This can help create an efficiency for you. As you know, it can take a long time to actually build one of these tests from scratch. You may like to use it again, either in its entirety or with some minor edits. Rather than rebuilding that test again in a future version of that particular class, you have the ability to export it and then place it uh, in another section of that class. So I'm going to show you how simple that is to do. Down in the course management area of our toolbar, if you go to course tools and click the drop down arrow to open up this drop down menu, all the way down toward the bottom there is tests, surveys, and pools. If you click on that, that will open up each of these in their own separate link. We're talking about tests, so we're going to click on the tests link. So this has opened up a list of the tests that are in this particular course. I'm just going to choose one, let's say this multiple choice midterm exam here. First notice that there's an import test button. This is going to come into play here in a few moments. But we first have to export this test. We have to get this test or a copy of this test outside of this class so that we can store it and then use it later on and put it inside of a different course. So I'm going to hit this drop down arrow. Now the first choice is edit. This is what you would click on if you needed to go in and make an adjustment or some type of modification or edit to this particular test. But assuming you're just going to bring the test in as is, you can also edit later, you're going to use one of the export features. And I like to use the export to local computer. This allows you to take the file that's going to be created by Blackboard, which is a zip file, and it allows you to store it in a place that's convenient to you. You can store it uh, on your C drive, your hard drive of your computer. You can store it in your virtual hard drive space at Baker College, your F drive. You can put it on a flash drive and then have it be portable if that's what you want to do. But this allows you to actually make that selection. So we're going to click on export to local computer. And it's going to open up this window. Notice here's our file, export file master, midterm exam, and notice it's a zip file. So our choices are to open, you can see here I'm using Firefox. Your screen might look a little bit different if you're using Chrome. I find this works well with Firefox, so that's what I use. Save file is going to be the default. That's what I want. I don't want to open this file because this is a WinZip file with a lot of computer code and it's not going to look good. It's not going to look like what the test actually looks like in the test manager. So we're going to keep the save file checked and we're going to click OK. <clears throat> so I can save it wherever I want. I'm currently going to save this particular file uh, to my desktop, but you could, again, you could save it to your F drive, you could save it to your local disk, you could have a flash drive in your computer and save it there, wherever you want to save it. I'm going to save it to my desktop so it makes it easy for me to find. I'm going to click Save. Um, I've already used this before for some training, so it's uh, basically just going to do an overwrite, but essentially it, it saves it, downloads it to my particular computer. If that was the first time you did it, it would just go right there. It uh, was telling me that I had a file of exactly the same name because I had actually tested this before I started making the tutorial. So at this particular point, I have exported the test. So I'm just going to go into another course to show you how easy it is to import it into another course. So I'm going to go into this Blackboard test shell that I have. And we're going to do the same thing when this class opens. We're going to go into the menu and we're going to go down into Course Tools, same place we were before, and go down to the bottom where we have Tests, Surveys, and Pools. Again, go into Tests. But this time we want to do Import Test. So we're going to click on Import Test. <coughs> and then I'm going to go find it. So here's my test, my midterm exam. I just click on it, click on open, and now it has found this particular file, this zip file, and it selected it for me. So just double checking to make sure that that's what I want. If it turns out I grabbed the wrong thing, clicked on the wrong thing, I can say do not attach and do it again. But since it's what I need, I'm just going to click submit. 
and it'll take a few seconds to process and then you'll get this message this package has been processed and I say okay so now this test is actually in this particular course and if I come down here here's today's date and there's my midterm exam so I can go in I can edit it so if uh, I decided that I wanted to use this test but I wanted to change a couple of questions I could go into edit and pull that particular uh, exam up and make those changes and save them and so forth and then I would have that newer version here and then maybe that's something I'd want to keep for later on for a year from now when I teach the same class I can do the same thing again I can export it save it somewhere that I have access to it and then import it now um, examples of what things are called if you're going to do this a lot with a lot of different classes I'm probably when I get to saving it not only am I going to want to pick the location of where I save it but over time if I do this a lot I'm probably going to want to put something in front of this not just call it midterm exam because how many midterm exams could I possibly have so maybe I want to say ACC 121 midterm exam W15 for winter 2015 I may want to put a better uh, descriptor or a name on that particular file uh, before I actually do the saving to wherever I'm going to save it. So that's it. That's a quick tutorial on how to export and import an exam, quiz, or test. It's just as simple as that and it allows you to be efficient and have access to material that you might lose because of the archive policy. You might not have access to this test a year from now. So this allows you to actually grab that test, keep it so that you can use it again without having to rebuild from scratch.